I'm going to play devil's advocate here. So I'm going to side with Steven on this one. Okay, yeah, I right. am. I am. Okay. <laughs> I am racking my brain thinking about what coaches turn programs around. Kirk Ferentz went to Iowa. They were one in 10, took them about two to three years to make them a top 10 team in the country. Um, Jim Harbaugh, Stanford, they were awful. Took them two or three years. They're going to BCS bowl games. Uh, Pete Carroll goes to USC. They're playing like 500 ball second year. Boom. They're in the orange bowl. They're going 11 and two. Um, you're naming places too that uh, it, it's a lot easier to recruit to than it is in Lincoln, Nebraska. True, Iowa. Yeah. Uh, okay, you're going back a ways there. That yeah, went back 20 years, but that's yeah, when yeah. The rent I, took I, over. I, yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay. Nick Saban, uh, Alabama was down. <laughs> don't have to. Don't have to explain yeah. to anybody yeah. what he's done. Uh, when Lou Holtz yeah. went to South Carolina 20 years ago. They right. were going I mean, one in ten. And boom. You can, yeah, you can go. You can go like on two down three the years. line. You can go on down the line, but I, I think the biggest factor is, is just how badly things were here um, when 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 Scott Frost took over. With you didn't have anybody here that was accountable for anything at, at the time. You had guys that wouldn't even eat at the training table because. They wanted to get McDonald's every day. I won't name names on that, and he, you know, he, he's never played college football again. Um, and you had guys that lifting was optional. Um, guys were out of shape. Guys didn't put in the work, the effort, um, and that's the one thing that you've seen change here since Scott Frost has, has been the head coach here. Is that you do have the guys putting in the effort now, and they're busting their tails to win every single game they play. So that's the biggest thing that I've seen in turnaround. And, you know, if you have a bunch of guys on the team believe in that and, you know, they weeded out all the cancers that, that were here that didn't fit in, um, I don't care who you are and who you play. If you got, you know, 90 guys in unity playing for the same thing, you know, great things can happen. I don't disagree with any of that. I'm just not coming up with any examples of somebody that took over record wise. They weren't even bad before frost showed up. I'm not saying that there weren't things going on that you're talking about that eventually led to, to losing a lot of football games, but it kind of on the surface, Mike Riley, um, I think his last season was his worst season. Yeah. But, you know, he was, he was beaten by with some nine and four seasons that looked on the surface like they were okay. We had one, and that, you know, that, that wasn't with his guys, really. Sure. But I'm, I'm not coming up with a situation where a coach took over a bad program, and it took him like five years, and then he got it right, and then they were really good. I'm just coming up with guys that took over bad programs and turned them around like in two years. Yeah. Yeah. Mark D'Antonio, <laughs> Michigan State. Those are the good Boom. Those are the ones that are easy to, to to you know to remember, I guess. I, I don't know. I don't know. But um it was I just you know it was in bad it was in bad shape here. That's about all I can say. And you know <laughs> I mean I'm not gonna argue with a lot of those those guys that have won a lot of games now and turned programs around. <laughs> 